So hello everyone, welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Um, my first piston door tutorial now has over a thousand views, so thanks everyone. So um, with the pistons coming out on Xbox this week, I'm going to carry on the piston tutorials. I got a few messages on Twitter as to what can you make with non-sticky pistons, <coughs> and there's only two things I make with them, and that's an automatic wheat farm, which I've got a tutorial for already. I'll put an annotation somewhere. And the other one is a cobblestone generator and stone generator, which I'm going to do a tutorial on now. So over here I have a simple cobblestone generator, which I'll just show you how it works. It basically, cobblestone's, cobblestone is produced under there in the middle when the lava and water meet, and then it just pushes it out here. Then you can just mine it as you want there. So just get rid of that to stop it, and I'll show you how to make it. So basically just place the blocks where I do. So that's where the cobblestone is going to be generated in that middle block there. So you want to put a piston, which I don't have out on me, there. And that's where your cobblestone is going to go. And then another block here so the warming lava don't touch. And then you put lava on that side, water on that side. And then when I break this block, you can see they'll touch and cobblestone will be produced. So all you do now is you set this up to a little clock, which is pretty simple. The way I do it is I have four repeaters. That's not right. I use four repeaters on four ticks. It's a good time. It doesn't do it too often and it doesn't stop cobblestone from being produced. So just set that up like that. And then put a stone torch down and then destroy it. And then that clock will just go around every 16 ticks it'll push out cobblestone very simple and then you can just break it but um, if you don't want to place a torch down every time like I do here and you just want to have a button or a lever to activate it you can build this so because the only reason is that is you want a short pulse that goes on and off straight away so you can build this where if you watch that wire there it goes on for a second and then straight off if I put a piss in there to show you Straight on enough. Right, so to make this, what you want to do is basically just build it as I do here. So you want a button at the front, and then you want it to split into two wires. Let's have to go to this wire too close. Split into two wires, and then you want a repeater there connecting to this block which is inverted onto this sticky piston and then you want two blocks down here then another repeater so it can pass through and then this is your output wire so I'm going to press it now hopefully it should work yeah because what happens is it go the wire quickly goes through there and then because of this delay in the repeater it takes just one tick and then that will shoot out so you have a one tick um, pulse there so there you go guys, that's just a simple tutorial on how to make a cobblestone generator. And I'll just show you one more thing. If you put the piston underneath the cobblestone and have it pushing up, you can make self-repairing walls. So like I've got here, instead of just the one bit of lava and one bit of water, I've extended them all the way along. And I have a line of pistons underneath and a line of repeaters set up to this clock here. So now if I destroy these blocks, as you can see, it repairs the wall itself. So if somebody comes along, griefs your wall, when you come home it'll be built again. So uh, thanks for watching guys, hope you've learned some of it. This is uh, one thing you can do with uh, non-sticky pistons. And check back next week when I'll be, on well, next week, it'll probably be like a day or two, when I'll be doing more sticky piston tutorials and I'll be showing you how to make traps so you can kill anyone who tries to get into your base. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you like and subscribe.